welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a kind of a try on, maybe not review, but try on of the Prism, the Lilac Street Prism Lashes. So I just recently purchased these. I got them today and, or yesterday, I guess. And I got the 10 millimeter and the 12 millimeter. So I wanted to kind of show you the lash look and just kind of take you through and see what they look like and all that stuff. So basically with the Lilic Street, they are probably one of my favorite lashes. I feel like they're super affordable. This little container is only $7, so they're $7 each. And it technically comes with a complete set. I always buy two of them. I always buy the 10 millimeter and then the 12 millimeter because the 10 I will do on the inside, inner corner of my eye, and then the 12 I'll go here. That is the lash length that I prefer. They do have like 14 and I think 16, so there are a variety of different lengths, so you can choose whatever works for you. That is just what I personally like, the lengths that I feel that work best for me. So I like these because, let me show you the 12 millimeters. So they look like this. They are kind of wispy at the ends. I just thought that they were really, really pretty and just kind of fun looking. So I figured I would give it a try. I've never done lashes like these. So I'm excited to see how they look like on me. Now in all full disclosure, I prefer different things from different brands. So I am not like die hard on any particular brand. I'm constantly trying out new lashes, new lash glue and stuff like that. But I do have some favorites that I have used so far. And so I'm gonna take you through what I do for my eye look, the products that I use. So it's not just Lilac Street, but it's also incorporated some of the other products that I like. So the first thing I usually do is I go in with the Lashify Prep. So I don't think any other brand, there might be other brands that have it. This is the one that I have and a little bit does go a long way. Usually what I do is I will put a little bit, a Q-tip in, and what this does is just cleanse your eyes. So normally if I'm going in with a fresh face, I've just washed my face and I haven't done my makeup, I don't normally do this step. But for the times like today where I was going like this with my brush, I've got foundation all on my lashes, I've got concealer all on my lashes, I do like to go in and cleanse it just to make sure that the lashes, when I go to do the, the glue and everything, it's clean lashes and that helps with the longevity and the wear of the lashes. And you can see here, let me see if it will zoom in. You can see like right there, there, there was a little bit of something left. So I just like to clean that off and just make sure you can see there was some stuff in there. So that is the first thing. So next, what I like to, as far as the tool, I do prefer the lash, the Lilic Street lashes the best because it just has this like a slight bend. A lot of the other ones like the Lashify wand and the Kiss Falscara one, they have a super big curve. I find that the bigger the curve, the when I'm going to fuse the lashes together, I end up pinching a little bit of my eye lid, which doesn't feel good. And for whatever reason, with once I got the Lilic Street ones, I realized that when it has a slight curve, I am less likely to do that. You can still do that, obviously, but I'm less likely. So I personally prefer these. They do feel pretty, I hate to use the word cheap, they don't feel cheap at all. They feel, they're nice and weighted and stuff like that, and they are, nice on the, the hand. The other thing that I'm gonna be using is the Lashify Puff thing. I have not seen any other company come out with this. And even if they did, this one works just fine, but it's just literally just kind of a blow tool. So normally what I do is I will take out the lashes. What I do like about Lashify, if you've watched any of my other videos, I hate the glue mechanism. That's why I like Lashify. It's because they don't have the glue. They come out of the gossamers really, really easily. These glue mechanisms are sometimes a bear to get out, but with the Lilic Street Lashes, I find that they're not as challenging. I don't tweak them as much and I'm able to preserve a lot of the lashes. So that's why I like the Lilic Street. Even though I do hate the glue mechanism, it is a pain. It, it's not a challenge with the Lilic Street. They've done it really well. So normally what I do is I'll go in and I'll only take out the ones that I think that I'm gonna use. For the 10 millimeters, I know I'm probably only going to use two or four of them, one here, one here, and then I do like to stack them and I like to stack them with the same size. So I'll probably only use four. I'll only take out one for this time because I do like to do one eye first and then the other eye second. And the reason for that, when I first started doing my lashes, I was doing like one here, one here, one here, and I was going back and forth. And even though that does save on time, the problem I was having was I was drawing my map, lash map perfect, you know, 
evenly on each side and my eyes are not the exact same. So on this side, I use a little bit more lashes than I do on this side. So what I do that, find, that I find works best for me is I will do this eye first and then I'll go in and do this eye and I won't do the exact lash map as this one, but I'll try to duplicate it as far as the look. So even though I may be wearing less lashes on this side, I put it where they look even. So that's a little tip that I've picked up along the way. So I have my lashes kind of mapped out of exactly where I want them to be. I'm going to go in with the Lashify glue. This is my personal favorite like way of applying them. With the Lilix Street, it is kind of the glue mechanism. Think of the regular falsy lashes where you have that little you know, glue dollop thing. I like this method, the mascara method, because for me, it is more natural because I'm used to putting on or mascara. So it's just a nat natural kind of flow but I also like it because I feel like it's just the easiest method for me and the, the uh, least time consuming. So I just go in like this and I'm just going to put it on my lashes. So I do usually put the glue all the way up my lashes because my lashes are pretty short. So I find like that the bond works better. If you have super eye, like long lashes, you don't have to put it all the way up to the ends. You could just put it kind of halfway, but because my lashes are short, that's the method that works best for me. So on this side, you can see, I really do need another one of these, but I'm like using every little bit. So I, this is the other reason why I like the Lashify glue is because it has this little mechanism here. It's easy when you're stacking, you can just kind of poke it. But what I do is to help create that, a stronger bond, I will take this end and I will put it, these are a little wispy. I'll put it just on the, the band and just kind of let it sit there. So I find that this method, I'll do the mascara and then I'll go in and put this just on that spine of the lashes. It helps with the longevity. I can get a solid probably seven days. Normally what I do is I will try to do them on like a Monday, Monday morning or a Sunday morning and I will go all the way till like Friday night and then I'll take them off because I personally like to have a little bit of time in between the sessions or whatever, because I do like when I have them off, I feel like I can rub my eyes, I can do my like facial treatments and not have to worry about damaging them or them getting tweaked or anything like that. So I prefer, that's what, another reason why I like this kind of at home method is because I can take them off. When you go to the salon, you, there's no taking them off. You're, you're in that maintenance mode every single day, every second of the day. Whereas this, I will be in that maintenance mode for five days say, and then I'll be able to take them off. I'm able to scrub my eyes and really clean them and have like a little bit of a break in between the, the things. So I think they're ready. I'm gonna go ahead and take. These are super curly. So I've never had them where they've been this curly and this wispy. So it is a little bit more challenging to put on. So you can see right here, I just need one more, but usually on this side, I will have to stack it. And this is where this little mechanism comes in really good. So I'll come in and I'll just put a little dollop right there on the edge. And then I will take one of the wispies and I'll do that same spine kind of thing where I'm putting it right on the edge of the spine. And then this is where the blue tool comes in. So I have that one, so that one went on easily. So I'm gonna do my next lash map. So that is the first kind of layer, if you will. Now, normally I go in and I will stack them just because I do like that kind of, I find like the stacking helps with the longevity. So if you are doing these and you're like, hey, I can only get three days or whatever, definitely try stacking them. It even helps with the inside corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and I definitely am gonna stack like right here and right here to kind of beef that up a little bit. And when I'm stacking, I just take this end and I just put a little dot where I want it. And then I will go onto the spine of the lash and just do that same kind of mechanism. And the blow tool, to be honest, isn't needed. It's not something that you feel like you have to have. It just, for me, helps with the increasing the, the, time, the dry time. 
you know, I just sit there and blow it and then it just dries faster, but it's not like a, a make or break thing. So then I'm gonna probably put one a little bit right here. And just where I feel like there's just, it needs to be beefed up a little bit more. It's a little sparse. Yeah, I'd say that one's probably good. You see here, I've got a little bit of separation, so I'm gonna try to put it in between those two. And I'm probably gonna put one like right there, kind of beef up both the sides. I'm gonna put one right there. I have one left, so I'm just gonna beef up this side. Okay, so after I fuse them and they're pretty dry, I will go in with the glass. This is by Lashify. Some of the other brands like Falscara um, have them as well, but I just grab this one because I have it. I do like this one because it has a little ball at the end. And basically what I do is I just kind of, it takes away the stickiness of the, the glue, any glue that's left over that's still a little tacky. I just gently put it like this on my lashes. And that is it. That is the final look. I actually really, really like them. This is the first time that I've done a curl like this, but I like that they're curled and wispy at the same time. I'm really, really liking that. So definitely, and they're super comfortable. You can see here that the band, that's the, the other reason why I like these is the band is super, super small. So the spine of the lash, if I can get it open. The spine of the lash is super, super thin, so they're very, very comfortable. So you can get it right up to your waterline. You don't want it touching your waterline, but you can get really close and they're just, it's just very, very thin. So very co comfortable, very easy to wear. And what I like about them, with this brand, like I said, it is affordable. You do get, you know, it comes in this packaging. The glue mechanism is super easy to take off, so it's not like, some of the other brands where the glue tweaks the lashes or it's stuck on there and you have to peel it off. This literally, what they've done is they just have this little band. So instead of the individual lashes being glued on, it's just this sticky band and you can actually stick it back on. But I find that that works so much better because one thing that I absolutely hate is when I'm trying to take out the lashes and I'm tweaking a whole bunch of them and then I end up ruining half of them because I couldn't, the glue mechanism sucks. So. Definitely like the Lilic Street, uh, they're just comfortable. They do have a variety of different things, a uh, variety of different, different lashes. So if you're looking for something a little bit dramatic, they have that. If you're looking for something a little bit more natural, then definitely try out the originals. They're very natural looking. But overall, really like this lash brand and the other products that I mentioned in the video. I will link everything down below. So if you're interested, please check that out. I will also put a coupon code down for Lilic Street as well. So if you're interested, you know, I think it's like 10% off or whatever that you can get. So really like these lashes, I highly recommend them. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. But until next time, bye.